Hello. So uh, in the last video, I demonstrated how to add fields from a parent entity to a work template. And we populated the parent customer fields of a quote template, which were in here. So these fields here, that's the ones we populated. Um, we're now going to look at adding fields um, from a child entity. So in this case, your primary entity is going to be the quote and the child entity is going to be the quote line items or the products attached to that quote and um, so that's a what's called a one-to-many relationship so the one parent and has many children now if you're using a one-to-many relationship we can actually add a list of children and you can see in this table here we're going to populate that with a list of the many children related to that record um, so like before we need to start off with finding that relationship name we're going to start um, from a, a new quote template again because we're going to show you how to add the relationships rather than use an existing one so the first thing you need to do is find the relationship name and i'll show you another way to find the relationship name this time um because before i showed you going to the child entity and looking at the main lookup field um, I'll just show you another way of getting to that, that same information. So we'll go to settings and customizations and customize system. And if we expand our list of entities and look for our parent entity, which is quote in this case. Uh, it's a one-to-many relationship, so the quote is the parent, and we're looking for many quote items. Let's just make that bigger. Now this gives us a list of all the one-to-many relationships uh, associated to the quote entity. If we sort by related entity, we're looking for quote line or quote line item, quote detail maybe. Um, And that's the one there. And you can check it's the right one just by reading the description as well. Because with the um, addition to the project service automation and the field service um, applications, it adds a lot more um, quote relationships here, like quote line detail. Um, there's a few other ones in there. So just always check you've got the right one by checking the entity, checking the name, it's what we expect, and checking the description. And open it up, that'll give us the name we want. So let's create our word template in the same way as we did before. a new word template, select your parent entity and this time we're going to add a one-to-many relationship and we just look for that relationship name in that list. So it was quote underscore details. it there. So download the template open it up and like before I'll just copy from a template I downloaded to the Microsoft Word paste the content in there zoom in so we can see a wee bit clearer and like I said, it's this table here we're going to populate. Now, if you haven't already got a table in your quote template, you can just add one through Word. So that's through insert and table, and you can add your own table. Um, but this is a, a pre-existing template, so it's already got a table in there. So browse to your XML mappings pane. 
like we've seen previously. Turn at the bottom, go to your relationship, just quote and underscore details, expand that out. That gives you the fields that are on your one to many uh, related entity. Um, so the first one we're looking for is the quantity field. Right click and insert it as plain text, just like you normally do. In the item we will put the product name. We'll leave description and then we'll put a unit price. I've gone too far up. Yeah, the price per unit. Or a discount. Discount amount. Oops. And the line total, which I think is extended amount. Yeah, there it is. Like I said, if you don't know the schema name of any of these fields, you can find that from within the customizations. I'm not going to cover that in this um, video. Um, so this is us added up the, the top um, the label the labels from a related entity. Um, now, if we were to upload this template and then generate a, a quote from it, it would only come up with the first line item. We want to have this repeating throughout uh, for each line item in the in, on attached to the quote. In order to do that, if you select the table rule. And look for your relationship name in the XML mapping pane. In this case, it's quote detail. Right click that, insert control content, it gives us this option called repeating. If you click that, you'll notice that this placeholder comes over the whole row. So that whole row is now a placeholder, and it's a repeating placeholder of that relationship. And that'll give us our repeating line items. So let's just see that working. So if we save this template, upload it as you normally do. to a quote now. So see this has got two items associated to it, two products. That was version 7, it's not there yet, so we'll just refresh the page that that goes through. Generate quote version 7. Open it up and you can see your line items repeating. So there's one line for each of the items associated to the quote. If we were to add another item to our quote, one in the list. 
put a quantity of five in there. And generate a template again. And we can see the three line items showing there. Instead of two. So a line item for each quote product associated to that quote. Um, so that's it for this video. That shows you how to add a repeating table um, using a one-to-many relationship in CRM. And then um, as, as I make more videos, I'll upload them. Cheers.